Hi everyone. Okay, so if you're in lockdown like I am, it's quite possible that you are probably a bit sick and tired of doing um, English and Afrikaans and maths and NS and SS. You'd like to have a bit of fun. Okay, so if you're looking for a bit of fun, then you've definitely come to the right place. So I'm going to put together a couple of videos here uh, on my channel just to show you how to um, build some games with Greenfoot. So I love to write little games and it's a, it's, it's a great way to learn uh, how to program in Java. So this first video, just in case um, for those people that are new to Greenfoot, might not have it installed, I'll show you how to install it quickly. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is uh, you can come to this address here, just uh, you're with your Chrome browser, um, just bang that address in, you'll get to this page. And what you want is you want the JDK, okay, the Java Development Kit. You don't just want the uh, the, the Java Virtual Machine. You, you have to have the Development Kit because we are going to be writing Java. So you actually need the compiler and all the bits and pieces that go with it. So you need to get this the JDK, Java Development Kit. And at, at the time of making this video, um, 1401, that's the version number. Uh, yours might be different, of course. In the future, you will have possibly um, some newer version. But as of today, this is the latest version. So what you do is you just click here on JDK Download. And you get to the download page. Um, this here is just telling you that it, it is licensed, but you, you it's, it's free for you to use for personal use. And you just come down here and you just grab the version that is appropriate for you. So if you're on a Mac, you're going to get one of these. Uh, if you're on a Windows machine, you're probably going to get this one here. Okay, so this exe file, you download that and you install it. So that is step one. Uh, grab the JDK and install it. The second thing you want to do is pop along to the uh, greenfoot.org. The greenfoot.org website. This is the front page. Um, and you go here to software, over here. So you click on software, and you want to get, uh, you're either probably going to get the Windows, or if you're on a Mac, you're going to grab the Mac version, uh, or if you're on Linux, you're probably going to grab one of these others, on the Ubuntu version there. But I suspect most of you are going to just grab this Windows version here. Um, and once again, at the, the time I made this video, uh, version 3.6.1, was the most recent, so you can just grab that. Um, if you have an older computer, and by older I mean a 32-bit computer, or you're running 32-bit Windows, I don't think anyone is nowadays, but just in case, uh, 3.6 will not work for you. Um, you'll have to go here to the older versions page and get 3.5.4, but I don't think that'll apply to many of you. Okay, so once you have downloaded that and installed it, uh, you are ready to rock and roll. So the first thing I want to show you quickly is um, the Greenfoot Bible. Um, when, when you are learning to program, you are going to live in the documentation, especially with Java. Uh, and even professional programmers, believe me, even professional programmers will sit with this open. So if you go to help and you go to here, Greenfoot class documentation, Okay, it will open up this page here, and this here is the Bible of Greenfoot. Okay, it tells you uh, everything you need to know about Greenfoot itself. Um, here you've got the built-in classes that come with it. And the ones that are most important, obviously, is World uh, and Actor. So if you go and click on World, it will show you um, the, that it's got two different constructors. Um, as we are building our games, I will explain a lot of this to you as we go along. But it's worth your while to just pop in here and just familiarize yourself a little bit. Even though you might not understand, understand what they do, just kind of have in the back of your mind. And, and you know, if you, want to, if you want to write a piece of code, you might say to yourself, oh, okay, I saw that um, in, the, in the Greenfoot API. So maybe the, that piece of code's already been written for me. Okay, so you can come and have a peek in here. But definitely just familiarize, familiarize yourself just with all the methods that are available 
uh, definitely in the world and the actor. So you can go here and have a look in the actor class. Okay, here's all the methods. Here's kind of what they do. And the other one you want to have a look at uh, is the Greenfoot class. This is a utility class. It's got a couple of tools in it that we will definitely be using. Um, even in our first program, we'll be using this get mouse info. Uh, we'll be, here's a, a, a method to throw random numbers. Very important for games, for randomization. We'll definitely be using that. Um, so like I said, just, just familiarize yourself a little bit about what is in this documentation um, on these different packages. You know, don't, don't spend hours on it, but just read it through so that if you do encounter something, it will sort of kind of just jog your memory. Okay, so that is it for this, uh, for this very first video. By now you should have Greenfoot installed. Um, and on the next video, we'll go ahead and start um, putting some stuff together.